It's well known that some British tabloid newspapers hacked into the cell phones of celebrities, members of the royal family and others, then published their personal information. There have been several convictions in recent years, with newspapers paying out tens of millions of dollars to victims. And in 2011, tabloid publisher and media mogul Rupert Murdoch even made this humiliating apology in front of a parliamentary committee. I would just like to say one sentence. This is the most humble day of my life. But now Thank Prince Harry has launched three new legal cases against the UK's powerful tabloid newspapers Jenna, over phone Jenna, hacking, Jenna, with allegations dating back to the 1990s. Piers Morgan is the former editor of one of the papers accused. I'm not going to take lectures on privacy invasion from Prince Harry, somebody who spent the last three years ruthlessly and cynically invading the royal family's privacy for vast commercial gain. Matthew Gill is a media lawyer. Harry seems determined to have his day in court. Why is that? He just wants to hold the tabloid press and, in this case, the mirror to account. He's livid, frankly. In legal documents, Harry claims other members of the royal family have avoided going to court because they don't want to testify about issues that may be embarrassing. Harry told Oprah in 2021 that he believes his family is scared that the British tabloids, with their massive readerships, could turn against them. The Mirror Group admits that there's evidence that on one occasion it unlawfully gathered information about Prince Harry and it's apologised for that but it denies targeting him with phone hacking. Holly Williams, CBS News, London. This was the first time a senior member of the British royal family has faced cross-examination under oath since the 1800s.